I've shown before how I've been able to connect. I've got my iMac running here with a connect on top, but it's attached to the Linux laptop here. It's running uh, the libfree connect uh, Python bindings and a custom program based on web.py that outputs uh, the data as, requ as uh, requested. So for instance here, that's actually me. And it's just showing data within a certain range. I've also got a slightly modified, so I've got another, pro another uh, call I can make that shows me the position of the, the x, y position, x, y, and depth of the nearest position, nearest uh, pixel based on a tolerance of 10, so every 10 pixel. For more accuracy, you can do every uh, 12 pixel or something. See that's much slower. Very fifty pixel. Which is reasonably quick. Now, what I've also done is written a Java program. If I can bring in here that will a 20 second window to basically get out of the way. So I hold it here like this. What it then does is it compares the position of the magic wand to the center position. So that's up means that I'm closer than the starting position. I come back down. Right means I'm to the right of the starting position. Right and up there, right and down. Over here is left and down, and left and up. Back to center position again. Now it's based on um, tolerance of the 10, 10, 10 pixels on the x y coordinates and 25 in the depth. So if the pixel of the new point, new nearest point is outside of 10 pixels and it kicks off an X event and I'm not using the Y at the moment because Y would be this and that's not really relevant. And what I actually have done is use the Java AWT.robot library to make uh, keystrokes which works fine against some, on Linux but doesn't work on OS X which is disappointing but then even on Linux it doesn't work on some programs which is a bit tedious um, and it would be handy because you could map these keystrokes then to actual games then of course then you have a, a, a connected face to games or having to modify the games themselves.